again and welcome to The Doe Show for Monday, April 2nd, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Ambidextrous, and we have another really busy episode for you today because a lot of drag happened. Uh, starting off with Thursday, I made it up to the outreach at the U of A Drag Show. It was a fabulous show with some amateur performers and some of our favorite seasoned performers as well also performed. Right on. I was not there, but I did get to check out some of the videos on dragging our heels. Um, it was great to see Vula Callis' triumphant return. Uh, she had uh, debuted, of course, in that competition last year and had, had won our hearts. Um, I also have to do a shout out to the, to the one video that I saw. Uh, Twiggy started doing tea for two and Leia Way was one of the judges in the audience. And, and uh, well, she's usually judging from the audience, but... Uh, anyway, Leia was one of the judges and, and, and Twiggy walked over to her and basically tagged her in and Leia came in and like got up and like did part of the number and, and everything else and yeah. then basically tagged Twiggy back in and Twiggy got up and gave it a big finale and anyway, it was just kind of neat and it was, it was good to see a couple of old pros kind of throw together Taking a number the on the fly and show us youngins how to yeah, do Yeah, right? like, like not, many, not many queens I think could have just pulled that off on the fly so, ah. so uh, nice job to, to, to both of them. And yeah, it looked like it was a we well, had a, a good competition. show. There's yes. a competition. Tell us about the show. Tell us about. Oh the my goodness! So, amateur drag queens and drag kings and performers, you had to be doing drag for less than a year to be in this competition. And uh, one of the standouts for me was Margaret Snatcher, hmm. who uh, had her debut at this uh, outreach drag show. And Margaret Snatcher is the drag daughter of our very own Ivy Lee. Oh! Yes. And I mean, she did very well in the competition overall. Uh, she made it to the top two. Yay. They had a lip sync for their life. There were a couple of lip syncs that happened. Uh, one being between Leanne from HR and Lady Tenderflake. And it was uh, just a uh, fun, let's show these kids how it's done. I think they were calling them the seasoned queens. Uh, no offense to Leanne from HR, but she almost could have been in the other competition. <laughs> 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 She's not all that seasoned. But yeah, and then again, neither is Lady T. She's only been around for yeah. a year and a bit. I think so. Leanne was in the amateur competition, I believe. But oh, I'm was she? Really sure. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I, as I say, the, the set list I saw said seasoned queens lip sync. But mm -hmm. I was questioning that. Anyway. Please continue. <laughs> and so the lip sync was between Margaret Snatcher and Queen Praveen. Queen Praveen. Yeah, it's a very interesting girl. And Queen Praveen ended up taking the title. Queen Praveen, Queen Prevailed. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Prevailed. So that was on Thursday. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, there wasn't a whole lot going on in Edmonton for drag on Friday. Nothing that we actually attended, so there's no new videos up from anything from that night. But on Saturday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, uh, they brought in Season 1 RuPaul's Drag Queen, Angina. Mm. And uh, I've been a huge fan of hers forever, and uh, it was so great to see that they brought her in. Um, the videos are on Dragging Our Heels. I was actually working at the bar that night, so I didn't see her live, uh, but I did watch the videos, and she did a, a really cool Lady Gaga mix, and she also did a uh, Ariana Grande mix, and yeah, she was given full energy and lots of dance moves, and um, of course our local queen, Roselle Christina, was there, and uh, there was a bit of similarity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, between the two of them, uh, but yeah, they're they're you know, Angina was fabulous, and uh, I talked to a bunch of the staff that got the chance to meet her, and apparently she was super sweet and and everything oh else, God. and you know what, always means something to me. So uh, yay, yeah. uh, that was Angina. So yay, you can, Angina. You like me can watch those videos on dragging our heels. Um, Sunday. 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 Was the Sunday Fools. review. It was also April Fools. It was also Easter. Easter. It, it was, was a also, lot of things. It was a lot of things going on on Sunday. Yeah. Um, but JBR hosted April's Fools, a hand-picked show that he had put together um, full of some of our local performers and mm -hmm. uh, and also some burlesque artists. If yes. I'm not mistaken. Exactly. There was it was a mix from the uh, feminine feminine mystique uh, burlesque troupe. Uh, performed performed uh, a few numbers there as well. Um, but yeah, um, the first half of the show was uh, drag queen wise. 
um, was them just kind of doing kind of like an oddball. Very standard numbers, like yeah. some of them were repeat numbers. Yeah, it's true, half. it's true. Uh, so repeat numbers mostly in the first half, and then in the second half they switched things up with a fishbowl style uh, performance. They did. <laughs> and you know what, like, uh, that can be fun, and, and uh, you know, like someone like, someone like Twiggy. And if someone doesn't know what a fishbowl performance is, oh yes, of course. Um, they, uh, there's a bowl of songs, uh, you pick a song out of this bowl and that's what you're performing. You don't know in advance what your song you're going to get. So it could be anything and take it away. Um, so it was a mix of stuff from, you know, different genres and different eras and stuff like that because there was a different, uh, there was a broad spectrum of queens from different genres <laughs> and different eras. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it was neat, and uh, Twiggy really turned it out. She lucked out and got 9 to 5, which you know she's banged out a million times before. Um, Fabulous. But, I mean, really, Twi <laughs> Twiggy's probably was one, was one of the few that was going to know everything in that, in that yeah. bowl anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Roselle Christina unfortunately got the one song she didn't know, but you know, she still looked great and she still tried to give us some of her hashtag choreographies. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was neat. Um, Speaking of Roselle Christina, she did a number in the first oh. half um, that was something that we have dubbed Mystery Meat. And yeah. we will leave you to watch the video on Dragging Our Heels to uh, see what exactly that contains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was. We call it. it, we call it Classic Roselle Christina. Classic Roselle Christina. Classic. Such a throwback to some of the old stuff that she used to do. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was such a good number and 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 yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't want to say much about it. You really just need to watch it. Um, hashtag be careful. Uh, <laughs> hashtag yeah. you might be offended. Yeah. Hashtag cultural inappropriation. <laughs> it was lovely. Anyway, love you girl. Um, Really, really, that's that's it. all the videos that that we have that are uh, that are up on dragging your heels as of this weekend. So um, I hope that you go and enjoy those at some of the spots on on our channel. Mm -hmm. um, go check them out. We have a lot more drag coming up this next weekend, uh, coming up on Saturday at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center, uh, the Imperial Sovereign Court to the Wild Rose. ISCWR Rain42 is presenting Are You Smarter Than a Drag Queen? <laughs> it's hosted by Harvey Steele. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hosted by Harvey Steele and Davina Die For. Um, and there's going to be games and performances and all kinds Ooh, of stuff. So I nice. think that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, check out that information and uh, hope to see you there. On Sunday we are returning to uh, Evolution Wonder Lounge of course for a very special episode of the Sunday Review. The Church of Satin 3! Host hosted by Chelsea Rendis and that stars Lord is the Mary Virgin and Secretia and Indigo and many others. So as he said, it's the third one in the series and the other two were just fantastic so we're, we're really excited to see Chelsea Stomping her way back onto the evolution stage hosting another show. So Yay. it's going to be fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, just a little bit further into the future, the following weekend on uh, Friday the 13th, April 13th, uh, is the semifinals for Alberta's Next Drag Superstar at Evolution Wonder Lounge. So look for uh, all the performers to be there for that. And we wish them all some good unluck on Friday the 13th. Um, the next night is Manila Luzon at Evolution Wonder Lounge. You yes. should also check out that. Uh, mm -hmm. Tickets are going fast, so you definitely want to grab some. Yeah. And we also have one more event we want to plug coming up, and that is the Queen's Brunch. The Queen's Brunch. Tell us about the Queen's Brunch. Okay, so that will be, first of all, at the Villa Casino in Rogers Place. Mm -hmm. And it's hosted by Sister Mary, and it's got some really fabulous performers in there. I believe there's Tequila Mockingbird, I think Leia Diva. Queen, didn't I say? Diva. Diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a really good show. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So come enjoy your brunch. Bambi's in the show too. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good time. So uh, come on down for the Queen's brunch and on Sunday, April fifteenth. I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, that's really more than enough of our babbling for yet another week. So. But wait. 
Oh. There's also karaoke superstar oh. semifinals. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, you're right. This semifinals karaoke. Um, this Thursday, before even the karaoke, this Thursday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, you can do. You can watch Drag Race with us. Um, Season 10, episode 3, I think we're on at this point. So, uh, yeah, come down, cheer on your, your RuPaul queens, and then stick around for uh, the karaoke superstar. It's the semifinals. I happen to be one of the uh, semifinalists. We've got some of our other friends that are in there, too. So, uh, yeah, stick around, have a drink, cheer us on. It'll be a really good time. Um, I'm going to cheer for Ferris. Oh, good. Yeah. Yay! You're welcome. Uh, yeah, we hope to see you out uh, celebrating uh, all of the art forms and Yay, all, of its forms all the art speaking. forms in its entirety. Yay! So uh, thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye. Oh, one more thing. We forgot our picks of the week. Um, uh, girl, you you slayed me with that number last night. So uh, my pick of the week is Mystery Meat by Roselle Christina. Like, mm. yeah, <laughs> Bambi. And I'm going with a, a pick that is from Thursday. I wanted to represent the outreach show. And this, this performer is really superb. Everything she does is very theatrical and amazing, in, in a word. And I'm choosing Vula Kallis, Rose's Turn. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> It's such a good number, and and uh, yeah, as I said, triumphant return back to the outreach. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you <laughs> next week. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I killed Bambi. <laughs>